Today we'll take a look at how to format numbers in JavaScript. So we have this number. Let's first print it on the screen. So I'm going to say here console log our number. And if I run it, well, simple enough, I'm going to get the number without any sort of uh, periods, without any separators, nothing, nothing of the sorts. How can we achieve that automatically? So there exists four methods for such things. Let's declare one uh, ourselves up here. So const formatter equals new intl, that's the namespace, dot, we can use any of these formats. I'm going to use the number format in this case. And this guy only takes as a necessary uh, parameter is the locale. So that's really the region for which you are formatting the number. I'm going to use N as most of uh, the formatting is going to be done in English. And to use the formatter itself, all we have to do is say formatter dot format, and we're going to have to give it a number. So our number here, if I try to run this now, you'll notice our number gained some separators here. So here we have commas every three digits. And we can now notice that, okay, it's 120 million, that's fine. But the cool part is it was done automatically and for any region uh, you are using. Now, of course, if the number has any decimal values, it's going to format it accordingly. So if we have here 0.55, we're going to get 0.55 here in the output. That's that's nice. Uh, the formatter also supports begins. I have made a video about begins up top, so we can actually use them if you so desire. You can say here that, and same thing, it's going to work the same way. Now, here's the most interesting feature about number format. If we want to not just show a number on the screen, let's say we want to show a percentage on the screen, this number format can take care of that. So let's say we have our our number be, uh, I don't know, let's say 0 0.78. And I want to show this as a percentage instead of just 0 0.78. How do I do that? Well, I can add a second parameter to this number format constructor here. That's an object. And this is sort of the options you have to customize this uh, object, this formatter. And in here, I'm going to say style and make that equal to be percent right so that we show percentage on the screen so if i try to run this now you'll notice i'm gonna get not 0 0.78 as i typed in here but 78 percent so what this guy does is basically uh multiply with 100 the number itself and then uh adds a percentage sign at the end of the uh, formatted string and also besides that with the style percent here so if you have more than two numbers after the dot here so if you have for example 7844. If I try to run this, you'll notice it also does round it up or down, depending, of course, on whether it's higher or equal than 0.5, right? So if I have here 50, it's going to round it up, I believe. Yeah, 79. So you can customize the way you format your number even more. So, for example, I can say here sign display and can set it to always. And if I do this, if I run this, you'll notice I'm going to get a plus here, whereas before I wasn't getting that. So that's going to always show a sign, whether it's positive or not. So if it's negative, of course, we're going to get a negative sign here. As before, that's that's the default behavior. And of course, if I set this back to decimal, that's the default value of uh, our number format. And let's say I don't want any grouping as we had before. I can say use grouping and set that to false. Why not? And I'm going to place in here a pretty big number again 120 million and if you run this you'll notice I'm gonna get the same number without the groupings uh, that we had before so if I set it back to true it's gonna look the same as in the beginning another neat customization you can do is set the notation type so I can say here notation let's set it to compact instead of standard so if I run it you notice I get an M here from million. And if I have, for example, just 120,000, running it, I'm gonna get 120K. And you can also use the scientific notation here. So scientific, if I say here, uh, it's going to give us, so that's 1.2 times 10 to the power of five, which is correct because we have four zeros and a two here. 
after one. Uh, other things you can control with uh, this number format is the style here. So I said here percent and decimal, that's what we used so far. But what you can do here is use currency. So I can also format currency if I wanted to. So I can say if currency, we can still use most of the things here. I'm gonna set this to standard. So that is the default notation that is the number format is using by the way. So besides just adding the style, now if I just run it like so, well, the problem is I don't uh, specify any currency code. So I have to specify, if I say style currency, I have to say currency and set it to some currency. I'm gonna set it to USD dollars, right? So if I run this now, I'm gonna get, well, 120K dollars, for example, with the, with the comma, with the actual cents specified in here as well. And you can use any, any currency here. If, if I set it, for example, to the British pound, that's also gonna work. And you don't have to really remember the sign of each of them. And especially if you already have these in a database, this is very useful. So that you don't have to sort of change this currency string to the sign itself. It's going to do it automatically for you. I leave a link to the MDN document uh, down below so you can check it out. So another cool thing you can do is instead of saying here currency, I can say unit and then specify a unit of measurement. Now this is not yet supported. As you can see, I'm still getting errors from it. But what you will be able to do is say here, for example, you can say uh, meters, right? And then it's going to format it accordingly, especially if you do have it in uh, compact notation. So if you have it in compact co notation, you're going to have uh, formatted for kilometers or uh, mega meters and so on and so forth. Um, and also you can combine uh, units of measurements. So I can say here meter per second and that's going to format it with uh, or, pref or suffix it with M over S, right? So that's, I think, very neat. But this right now doesn't work. As you can see, I'm getting errors in Node, so it will be supported in the near future. Just something to keep in mind. So that's basically it. That's the way you should format not only numbers, but really currencies. If you have, uh, uh, if you happen to work with those in your program, I suggest you use the number format. And instead of creating many formatters, just create one and use it all throughout your program. That's the most efficient way of doing it, by the way. And uh, of course, if you have percentages, you should probably use this. It's much, much easier than actually multiplying it by a hundred and then also rounding it. It's quite a lot of operations there and you can control it later on if you want to change, for example, if the sign uh, should always be displayed or whatnot. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you do have any questions or suggestions about this number format or related topics, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Take care. Bye.